something big and powerful is happening on the sun's surface and it's influencing our geomagnetic activity here on Earth. And as I record this today, there was a huge solar flare bigger than any flare aimed toward the Earth in this current solar cycle. So if you felt agitated or emotions shifted dramatically in the last 24 hours, or you had a hard time sleeping last night and noticed your energy fluctuate, you are not alone. My name is Masami Kavi. I'm a health intuitive, functional nutritional therapist, and a moon enthusiast. I lead women in rediscovering the wisdom of living with the lunar cycles during and beyond menopause. If you're interested in lunar cycles, learning about moon wisdom, and how the moon impacts various organs, systems, hormones, and even fascia, please subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up so others can find me in the YouTube universe. So I wasn't too surprised to hear from a friend who owns a business saying that the company's computers and phones stopped working today. When I was asked if I knew the reasons, I immediately thought of the solar cycle 25 nearing its peak. And this means that our sun is sending more plasma and radiation our way that can disrupt our interconnected technology, infrastructure that is vital to our everyday lives and even our sensitive bodies. And since my friend asked, and I was also having a very emotionally charged start to the day, and I certainly did not sleep well last night, I checked to see what was happening with our sun today. I found out that today there was a large, and I mean large, far side eruption that caused a huge halo coronal mass ejection, CME. This eruption started with X14 flare. That is actually massive, bigger than any flare aimed earthward in this solar cycle so far. And if this coronal mass ejection headed our way, it might have caused an extreme geomagnetic event, such as the one of October 28, 2003. If you want to learn more about what happened back in 2003 in October, you can look up X-17 solar flare Halloween storm. So those are the key words to look up and see maybe you want to learn a little bit more about it. But remember, today's one was X-14 and this really big storm that the really disrupted power grids and all these communications back in 2003 was X-17. So this one today was a pretty big one. But thank God this huge X-14 flare from today didn't hit the earth, according to NASA. But this event did accelerate high energy protons that did reach earth this morning. So if you are sensitive like me, you certainly would have experienced physical responses, mental and emotional too. And if you're a business owner like my friend or maybe others, you might have noticed some glitchiness going on with your computers, your phones, maybe some communications, even with people too. So, you know, just kind of check back in and say, what really happened today? It might be a good day to do that. So what's unusual about the current 11 year cycle, this solar cycle, is that scientists have already detected the first rumblings of the sun's next 11 year cycle. That's the solar cycle 26, because we're in cycle 25 right now. This is way ahead of its schedule. We're almost like overlapping the peak or solar maximum that we're in right now with the cycle 25 with the beginning of the next. That's quite unique, and this is quite challenging to all of us. It may all sound confusing, but in short, we are not going to get a lot of break going from one powerful solar influence to the next, especially right now. And we may be in for more disruptions and instability without too many pauses. And this means here on Earth, we will be experiencing additional space storms in the coming weeks and months. And I intuitively feel that we need to prioritize our physical health more so you can take good care of your nervous system, mental and emotional health, and stay grounded in who you are. Kind of interesting, isn't it? When you look at what's happening here on Earth from both the moon cycles, which is reflecting the sunlight, and also this current solar cycle perspectives, don't you think? Luckily, though, 
space storms could soon be forecasted with greater accuracy. So scientists may be able to predict when a violent solar eruption may hit us. This may help us better shield Earth's technology, power grids, and important communications. But here's the but, right? You know me. I'm always bringing all this back to our physical body and how to support this beautiful temple. So I'm personally wondering what we can be doing. You know, what can we do better physically to support our nervous system, brain, and various systems in our bodies, and also our metabolic energy, especially mitochondrial energy. I have noticed that when I experience these instabilities in the magnetic field and when solar eruptions hit different parts of Earth, my energy gets disrupted. It feels like my internal battery gets unstable and eventually gets drained. In the past, I also noticed old injuries flare up. But as a side note, though, I have not struggled with the inflammatory symptoms so much since I started taking the particular collagen powder I spoke about a couple of weeks ago. So if you missed it, I will put the link below here. So please check that out about the collagen powder that I use. As we witness and experience these powerful space storms, I'm tuning into what needs the most support in our body and what we can do better to support our system. It will definitely include mitochondrial health and your overall health. And I will share some of this and some of my findings in the coming monthly Moon Wisdom class. So be sure to sign up for that on the link below. And I'll put that link underneath here, this video. So check that out, please. Remember, scientists may soon be able to predict when these solar storms or CMEs are headed toward Earth and perhaps prevent power grids from shutting down. But that doesn't mean that they can shield us from CMEs impacting our overall health. So this is another reason to take good care of yourself and lovingly attend to the needs of your own beautiful body every day. I look forward to diving deeply into this topic and more in my next monthly moon wisdom class. Thank you for watching. I just decided that this was a very important information for all of you that were wondering what is going on with my mind, my body, my emotions, and maybe even your computers and your phone. So I hope this was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up so others can find me in this great big YouTube universe. Thank you so much for your time and all your comments that you leave for me. They nourish me and they support me so much. Thank you. Namaste.